a functionality code. What is a functionality code? We are actually here today because TMUT has put together a travel portal. But before going into production, we want to ask you, our esteemed customers, what you think of the functionalities that they have envisaged are on this portal. Are they useful to you? Do they need changing? So that we don't build something that we like, but nobody uses. <laughs> Show try my zip code. That's my zip code. What is your zip code? Yeah, it's it's S eight four seven seven. Oh. oh. Okay, the Pata London. Uh, price it. We want to price it. Yes. No, full flights you cannot select. Uh -huh. so we have the file formation. We could use customizing the database in terms of profiles, travel policy, class of usage, the agency or the travel manager. Well, invariably, that it would be uh, the role of the travel manager because you you have to see the information that you want, not how we perceive it to be. No, no, no. no. Who's doing the job? You no. give the access to the profile to your clients or you do the job? Based on what you we go ahead do. and compile the information and present it to you in the fashion that you Oh, the purpose of, of having you guys actually touch and feel and do it yourselves and then after lunch you grouping together to discuss it is that you can come back to us. That your speaker, your representative will come back to us with the criticisms, what's good, what's bad, what's not there, what needs to be there. I'm looking for an exception to the to this travel policy, I haven't found one yet. But in essence, it's immaterial because the idea would be that if there was an exception, uh, exception to the travel policy, it would be displayed in this report. So, from that perspective, it makes sense. This hotel cannot be uh, as there is no your not your. Uh, oh, maybe there is a credit card uh, in the profile. What about this hotel? Hotel? Oh, do you need to say another part? Yeah. Well, what is the feedback? Is the battery or? Is it just an option? Uh, it would be folly uh, for us to think that only this information is valuable to us. It's, it's equally valuable to you. So dependent upon dependent upon how you would like to receive that information, we can work with various ways. Either you can look it up online, or it could be sent per email, or as a document, or whatever. Those possibilities exist. That's no problem. Basically, here we we try to give some immediate feedback. Basically, it's been received. Then you can expect an answer. And uh, even as, if it's a case of saying we've received your uh, your feedback, we will need additional time. You will hear from us within the next two weeks. But you need something concrete from us, which is important. Okay, we're going over to Cyber BTS. No, no. Yeah, in the U.S. 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 But no artist is BTI. We're using BTS. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You can? Uh, not much? Well, you can ban much? Okay, you can compare this and BTS. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Try and just find it. <laughs> How is it ranked? Alphabetically, departure, whatever. Well, invariably, you, should, you would be able to go ahead and set it up the way you want. All right. Yeah. And so, as we don't know exactly what you want, we had to come up with some sort of idea exactly. and to come up with some feedback, basically. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, with the new for instance, uh, to apply for a specific company only the preferred suppliers or only the suppliers that uh, company A or so Y have an agreement with? That would be a, a, a part of the online booking tool to determine what information is actually shown to the, to the traveler. So in other words, if you say according to your uh, corporate travel policy that we are only to push British Airways and Lufthansa, theoretically then you could say either one, British Airways and Lufthansa flights are exclusively to be shown, or B, you can say British Airways and Lufthansa plus who else if the other two are sold out, or thirdly you can show them all. I was just wondering whether our corporate customers could really get uh, what they negotiated in this camera um, system. I would think uh, for the most optimal results, um, considering my experience with the GDSs, I think we would work with a direct supplier link on that. Which one? Uh, so anyone? Click on any and just close it out. Okay. Check the report. Is, no, please do go down again and check what the second one shows. Further down. Yeah. To close that as well. No, that's already the rail service. Oh, okay. Okay. that's already open. Okay. That's why I didn't. Okay.
So let's go from London. Yeah. From London. London. And next, let's end up in uh, Milan. Yeah. I have the London. 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 Are there a few alternatives? Of course, London and Paris, yeah. we are Basel and then straight to you know, from Switzerland to Milan. Mm -hmm. And the other one goes to La Mar. Um, we program the Jiba um, because the changes we have to suggest to try another country. Should we do Amsterdam? Yeah, Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. Suggest. Schools. Uh, and just yes. the Lake to Copenhagen. That's it, you got it. You'll get in Copenhagen, yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to go to Amsterdam Central? <laughs> and you click on that, it'll give you all the station. Okay, let's go to... I don't know whether it'll have Copenhagen. That's right. Uh, it was our intention to more or less present what we have as we see it to be, but in essence, that's not what it should be. It should be what you decided to be, not what we decided to be. I found the uh, screens, the yeah. design of the screens, um, uh, appealing. Okay. So that I was quite impressed by, I'd say, a lot of work what, that has been done and the setup. In terms of the format, it was very hard to determine how many screens you have to get through to get to the answer. And so I think that uh, yeah, that question answered would have been important. You know, how long would, does it take a user to get that through? Number of clicks. Number of clicks, yeah. Yeah. So it's a cancel and rebook. Well, yes, or what you would probably do is phone up and make an agent assisted transaction. Then, okay. From then on. Yeah, but that defeats the purpose. Absolutely, yeah. I think the flexibility of the different areas that you could deploy, whether you could deploy in the U.S. or in Europe at this point. So I guess the custom architecture to the back of it uh, seems to be the best that I like about it. That you, you can get, you can do it here for what's available here, you can do it in the U.S. So therefore there's a standardization, but yet customized for the back of it. When you're online, well, is that they need to put one or two things into the URL. For as an example, when we went into the date, the date should actually be either on the machine or within the URL so that you can do it quickly. But it actually looked like it was going back to the source, back through the connection, which takes a hell of a long time. So most stuff should be actually on the URL, simple, so that it's very quick. I had a question. Um, when we were first went into flight schedule, and we checked, there were a whole list of flights. Then when we went into online booking, we only got two. So, what was the difference? The difference is, you know, it's done it. When you look at schedule, it will just tell you every flight in the timetable. When you go to book, it will only show the flights that are available. Okay. But when you went into booking, on the right-hand side, it actually did have a little column that said, business economy first, available, not available. Right, so, so the one, well, one, one of them actually was showing you where you could book a flight, where the scheduler was just telling you, it was just a timetable. It said like Holiday in Houston, but it didn't tell you where in Houston it was until you went in and clicked it. So maybe the address should be on that first screen. On the first? Um. The benefit of KDS with is that it's got the functionality of all the others. Right, so for example, if you're doing a trip, if you fly London, Amsterdam for two days, it won't allow you to come out until it said, have you booked a car hire, have you booked a car, have you booked a hotel, have you not booked a hotel, which is all great stuff, because people come out and then they go, well now I need to do that. And if you see some of the functionality of the other products, KDS at least has it. I'm not saying it has it better, it has it worse, but it has that functionality. So. You really have to find somebody locally and then negotiate with them on how to get access to their systems. But the systems that are doing that right now are Genesis, which, take, which then send a script from the agency to the limousine provider. So yeah. if you do that, or Boston Coach, 
which has a Sabre script built to it already. So there are some providers that are out there. They are in the U.S. markets. Yes. In the U.S. Yeah. market, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. nobody is supplying something like that at all. Okay. It's there. Instead of say, talking about something that's being developed, not to say there won't be further development on this product, there will be continuous development because the marketplace changes, your needs change. But this is something you can more or less, I mean, I don't want to speak for the rest, but you can more or less take it right now. We want to integrate technology and classic services. We want to help you do that if you can do it alone. We want to be at the edge providing the best possible solutions. If we got one solution, again, there is no one size fits all in that kind of game now. But we believe that we can help you and provide you with these kind of integrated solutions. This is our